All right, so I started studying for the OSCP over the last couple of weeks. Um, haven't gotten as much done as I wanted to. I, when I first made this plan, I wasn't planning on getting laid off right before Christmas. Um, but I did get some work done and I wanted to talk a little bit about the first stage. Um, so if you haven't read the blog, if you haven't seen the video already, um, I'll link to both of those in the description. I've already kind of talked about my plan. I'll rehash it a little bit in this video, but if you don't know the plan, you can go back and watch the last video, read the blog, whatever. Um, basically, the plan is to study up for the PNPT, get the PNPT, and then do some self-study in between that and going to get the OSCP, and then studying up and getting the OSCP itself. Um, this has been a goal of mine for legitimately years now, um, as a lot of, like, old longtime viewers know. Um, so we're going to take another crack at it and we're actually going to conquer it this year and here's how it's gone so far. So basically we're still in first stage um, studying up for the PNPT. If you don't know what the PNPT is, it is the Practical Network Penetration Testing Certificate um, by TCM Security, Heath Adams. He's amazing. Um, really, really great instructor. I've only gotten through about the first one and a half sections, two sections. Um, basically half of the section on reconnaissance and um, the entire networking section. Now, if you're watching this and you have a lot of IT experience or a lot of cybersecurity experience, um, do not skip the networking section. I was about to, um, I decided to skim it and I realized there was a lot of stuff that I had forgotten. Um, I'm not in IT. I don't do that much like direct networking, not much OSI model stuff. Um, I'm an engineer. You know, I write code. So most of my stuff happens on the application layer and, you know, I don't worry about the rest of the OSA, OSI model. Um, but there was a lot of stuff that I forgot. Um, and all of it, or I won't say all of it, a lot of it is very, very important for the OSCP and similar certif certifications. So definitely recommend do not skip that, especially the section on um, subnetting. I don't remember needing the subnetting portion on the OSCP test, but I didn't pass it. So not necessarily a, a great um, show. I also have started looking into the fact that the OSCP has changed significantly since the last time I took it about two years ago, I think. Um, it has changed a ton. So whenever I say I didn't need it, like the last time I took it, don't like basically take that with a grain of salt. That, that isn't necessarily mean that it's not going to be on the new version. I'm going to do some more studying up and probably talk to people who have gotten the OSCP recently and ask them what the new test is like. But basically, a lot has changed and I'm not going to depend on what I needed to know for the last test. Um, so subnetting definitely seems like it's going to be important, um, at least for like actual penetration testing, like just knowing how a typical network is laid out. Um, most of the penetration testers or folks who are adjacent at least to the offensive security realm have said that Unfortunately, lots of networks are very flat, so there's not that much subnetting. Um, but, you know, it still seems like one of those things that's important. And at the end of the day, if you know a little bit extra about networking, that's not going to hurt you. You know, that seems like a good thing to know just, you know, to begin with. Um, so I got through the networking portion. Heath did a really great job of covering all of this stuff. And basically, the PNPT does not assume necessarily that you have any knowledge going into it. I would say probably knowing a little bit about a little bit helps. Um, you know, I've been in the information security realm for like five years. Um, and like I said, there's still stuff that I've forgotten or didn't know to begin with. Um, but he does a great job of just not assuming that basically you're coming into it with prior knowledge. This is a very, very, very beginner friendly certification, um, both in that it doesn't assume a, a, an existing level of knowledge and it's cheap. So like you've got the best of both worlds there. Um, so if, from what I've seen, the OSCP, both because of price and because of like the knowledge required going into it, it's not considered a beginner certification. And I don't know why a lot of people market it as a beginner certification. I would say maybe if you've got a lot of IT experience or a lot of cybersecurity experience already and you're trying to pivot, maybe you can handle it. But the OSCP is hard. Like it, it, there's a lot of knowledge that you either need or probably should have before you go into it. The PNPT is not like that. It's very, very beginner friendly. So definitely recommend it. So far, it's been awesome. Heath is a, a great teacher and 
you know, just does a great job in all of his other content as well. So I, I kind of figured that the learnings for the PNPT would be that way. Um, so going forward, um, I've got the rest of the reconnaissance section to finish. I'm going to do a whole video probably on what that's like, probably the next video that I do on the OSCP prep. Um, I'm also going to start doing like some deeper dives. I'm not going to call them deep dives because they're not going to be deep dives, but they're going to be deeper dives um, on some of the subjects they cover now that it's not like it's much more offensive security related from here on out. It's, you know, that the networking section is important, but it's not like offsec specific. It's, it's just networking. Um, so now that it's a little bit more offsec spe specific, I'm probably going to do some deeper dives, um, jump into some of the tools that he covers. Again, like I said in the last video, in the blog, all of that kind of stuff, I'm not going to give away his stuff for free because that, that would really be shitty. Um, but I am going to cover some of the stuff that he covers and give kind of like my own you know, view on that. Um, obviously, if anybody feels like I'm doing something that would make Heath uncomfortable, uh, let me know and I'll talk to Heath about it. But I, I don't foresee that happening. I'm just going to cover you know, some of the the same tools, methodologies, things like that, that tons of other people have covered as well. Um, so that's the plan going forward. I'm going on vacation starting in about five hours from now. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna be kind of AFK when this video comes out, probably skiing and snowboarding around on the mountains. But I uh, hope this kind of check-in was helpful. Um, I hope it's convinced a couple of other people to take the PNPT along with me. Um, I wouldn't say the same about the OSCP because it's so damn expensive, but um, I hope some of y'all consider taking that journey along with me and learning all of the cool stuff that Heath has to offer. Uh, that's about it. Take it easy. Peace.